everybody, this is Dr. Alex Avila with Love University, and we're back. I'm an author, psychologist, and speaker. Every week we talk about how to love ourselves, others, and a higher nature, how to improve our finances, career, health, relationships, and spirituality. Last time we were talking about the go for it principle, how to achieve your dreams by developing courage and the wonder mind, also known as spontaneity, humor, and perspective. And today we're going to take it more personal. We're going to go deeper down into talking about you as our audience and you as a human being, as an individual. And the topic today is very important. It is called how to be a full potential person. A full potential person is someone who maximizes their abilities and who is able to achieve their dreams. Abraham Maslow talked about self-actualization to reach the highest peak of your emotional, psychological, and spiritual development. The problem is that many people have a limitation, a mental barrier that keeps them from achieving their full potential And of course, all of us are growing, and Maslow believed that we may never reach that highest, highest potential, but we can go very far in developing who we truly are as an authentic and powerful human being. So Jonathan, my producer, we were talking off camera about this idea and the idea of being a full potential person. Now, I know you're in your late 20s now. You're a producer. You're doing a great job with our show. and You you. also work with other other (laughs) bands and and, uh, and artists. Mm -hmm. But I want to find out, Jonathan, what is holding you back right now from being a full potential person. So well, I was talking off camera. It's like, uh, there's a couple of things. Time, like I can do a lot better in scheduling, like scheduling time for friends, for work, for extracurricular activities. Um, I mean, I would say money, but I feel like that's a general <laughs> problem for everyone. Okay, well, Jonathan, first of all, time is not just time, it's time management. Yes. In yes. other words, the way you organize yourself. Mm-hmm. Uh, could be an issue. And with money, we've talked in the past about money ideas that we have. Mm-hmm. I know you mentioned in the past your parents raised you and some of the things they said were you can't have everything you want and yeah. not enough money. And I know you've overcome some of that. But sometimes these ideas stay in our mind unconsciously. Mm-hmm. And they keep us in a certain a trap that we can't achieve what we want. So let's take a look at those things. How do we get from not being full potential to being full potential? The first thing is to be aware of our choices. Your choices are like seeds planted into the ground. In the beginning, they may seem small, but soon they will grow into something much bigger, either for good, favorable circumstance, or for bad, negative outcomes. Because of this, you need to consider your actions carefully. What you decide to do each moment can greatly affect the rest of your life. If you choose wrongly, that irresistibly attractive but superficial date can turn into a long-suffering and empty marriage with an incompatible spouse. Or the well-paying but ill-suited career can become a lifelong prison of unfulfillment and wasted potential. On the other hand, when you choose rightly and authentically, you will find the love, meaning, and joy you are seeking in life. To make sure you make the right decision, you need to listen to your intuition and follow your instincts about what is right for you. When you do this, you will choose wisely and enjoy a more rewarding and love-filled life. So Jonathan, my producer, has there ever been a time when you actually made a bad choice and you realized it later on? So uh, last year I was, you know, I just graduated from university. I was trying my hand in trying to get a somewhat relevant job. And uh, there's this one job that I applied for. I interviewed and they're like, uh, it's like, it looked like a pretty like nice office. It was like a yes. marketing firm or something. And, uh, during the, the interview process, we're like, yeah, like, uh, we really like you, but why should we pick you over the other person? And then I guess I give him like a really good answer, like, oh, because I'm amazing. I'm, I, this is me, Jonathan. I'm a good person, right? I don't know. Yes. And uh, <laughs> then, like, you know, they take a fo- like a few minutes to talk to each other. They come back to the office and they're like, all right, look really sad when you walk outside because we're going to give you the job. I'm like, oh, nice, nice, nice. And, uh, you know, I was excited. You know, I just got of course. This, this nice office job. Yes. You know, the office seems super cool, and they're playing like loud music. Though, like they like to party, right? I'm like mm. sick. Okay. Um, uh, sick meaning good. As yes, I said. Yes, okay. yes. <laughs> um, two weeks later, when I show up for my first day, um, the job was not what I was. The job was not what I was expecting. Ah. So pretty much on paper, it's like. You know, like during the on the form, it says something like, "Yeah, you're gonna be like, you know, how spreading awareness for like these brands and these companies." Like, okay, cool, sounds nice, right? But essentially, what it boils down to was us like going inside of a mall and like 
sitting at a booth trying to sell in like internet or something. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, that's like nowhere on the application. Oh, I see. What I okay, so kind of a pushy uh, sales job that you didn't yeah, really want to get. I'm like, I don't want to be like, <laughs> okay. I don't want to be annoying families while they're like trying to, you know, go uh, to uh, I Starbucks see. or something. I see. Okay. So you kind of were excited by the possibilities, but then if you would have looked deep down, maybe within yourself and within the opportunity, you realize yeah. it's not an opportunity, right? It's kind yeah. of a, what you didn't want. Yeah. And the good thing about it is that you went away from it, right? I believe you, you didn't take the job. So I just did it for one day and I texted the guy, like my boss the next morning, like, yeah, I'm sorry, this is not for me. Okay. So <laughs> you basically didn't waste more of your energy and, yeah. and, and life in this job. And some people would, may have stayed there, you know, if it pays well. Yeah. But they're not happy, right? They're not satisfied. Yes. And that unfortunately is like an automaton, a robot, mm-hmm. or even a zombie. They go to work and they're not really uh, fulfilled. Yeah. And they ha- do it for the security or the money. And something for me, it's like, I like say like the job could be like, all right, it gives you like a million dollars an hour, right? But like, if I don't like it, if I don't like what I'm doing, I don't want the job, you know, because I like to do. Ideally, I would like to do what I'm doing. If that exactly. Sense. Well, the key, even love, to love. And, you know, we talked about this before. Uh, the famous uh, author Khalid Gibran said, work is love made visible. If you do the work you love, it's not work, right? It's, it's joy. It's yes. fun. And uh, I know you enjoy what we're doing here, and, mm-hmm. and you work with other artists as well. Yeah. So that's the kind of thing that really changes your life when you make the right choice. And you do it from your what we call the hara, which we talked about in the past, which is that point two inches below your navel, it's your gut instinct, right? Your mm-hmm. intuition that tells you this is the right or wrong thing that you don't want to do. So that's important. The other thing is embrace the unknown, something else that can help you become a full potential person. Now, the unknown is scary for a lot of people. They fear what they don't know. Yet the unknown can also hold a lot of what you desire, love, contribution, success, joy, peace, and health. Because of this, it's important for you to shift your fearful attitude about the unknown into a belief in the good that will come. Think of everything yet undiscovered as a potential gold mine of wisdom and rewards, both spiritual and material. Because you never know when a great opportunity will come to you, it's important for you to be open to new experiences. You may talk to that person standing next to you in line, or you may keep to yourself. If you talk to them, perhaps you will discover that they have valuable advice for you. Maybe they will become a valued business associate or friend or even a life partner. You never know what can happen unless you take the chance to go through the door of opportunity. Go ahead and embrace the unknown. Meet new people, go to new places, and try a different approach. You may be pleasantly surprised that something very good can come out of it. Another important part of being a full potential person is to maintain your one-point focus. In the past, we've talked about the hara, the point two inches below your navel, that is considered the center of your power and intuition. When martial artists are able to break a board or a brick, they focus from their hara, that life force, and they extend their energy one million miles into the universe. And they're very grounded and balanced in that center point. Now, many times we lose focus in our busy and distracted world. You may want to accomplish one task, but then a hundred other things infiltrate your mind to distract you. Today, we live in an attention deficit world in which the average person's attention span doesn't seem to last for more than a few seconds or a few minutes at most. You can be different by being a focused, concentrated, and disciplined person who can accomplish your goals one at a time. Your aim is to maintain a one-point focus. Simplify your life and focus each day on the one thing that is most important to you. Perhaps your main priority is to concentrate on a career goal, hobby, or spend time with your family. Perhaps it's to improve your health or spiritual mindset. Whatever your goal of the day is, focus on it until you accomplish it, or at least take some significant steps toward its completion. When you do this, you will find a sense of fulfillment and accomplishment that you are doing the right thing for yourself and those you care about. Now you can say goodbye to distractions and hello to sustained success. Now, Jonathan, we talked in the past about the idea that we live in such a technology-focused, busy society where everything's on demand 24 hours a day. I know you mentioned that time is an issue for you, or time management. Mm -hmm. So tell me about this, especially among millennials and people in your age range. Why is everyone so busy? Uh, I just feel like it's just a priority thing. So yes. people put different other. So people put different people on like a scale of like, all right, they're the most, you know, priority focused person for me. Or like, you know, say you have like a lesser friend, you're like, uh, 
Yeah, I'm busy to I'm too busy to hang out with you, but you're not really busy. You just don't want to hang out with him. Ah, or okay. you know what I mean? It's like So you're ranking your friends now on levels of lesserness and goodness? I don't want to sound like a terrible <laughs> person, but okay. it's like you know, I feel like for some people you'd go the extra mile for, if that makes sense. Okay. So but then if you're a people pleaser type person, then you mm-hmm. might want to try to get to everyone, but you really can't. Yes, it's like a, it's a priority thing, I feel like. Okay, it can be, right? But then yeah. other people are not that way, and then they get consumed by other people's activities and, and uh, requests yeah. and demands. So sometimes the most compassionate thing is to say no. Something that is not right for you and, and maybe not right for the other person, to say, no, I can't really do this, but thank you for the invitation. Yeah, and so of th- course, they try to be like nice. Of course. They try to be, oh, you're a nice guy. I can see that. You're a jolly guy. <laughs> okay. But again, you know, time management and also people management, knowing where to invest your energy is important. And again, you want to do it in a positive way and a compassionate way. Mm-hmm. And then finally, we come to one of the most important aspects of being a full potential person is to use the power of momentum. Have you ever been in the flow, Love University students, where everything you do works? It's that momentum. When you build up your confidence and self-belief, Because you've had earlier successes, and now you lose track of time and self-consciousness, and you just flow with the activity that you're doing, whether it's writing, running, being with family and friends, making music, or just being in nature. In this marvelous state of flow, everything comes naturally and easily to you. At work, you come up with creative and innovative ideas. You get things done faster and with more ease. At home, your relationships are smoother. Everyone gets along, and there is joy and harmony. These are wonderful times. The good news is that you can build up these precious moments of unity, harmony, and flow into even greater successes. Whenever you find yourself on a roll and you're experiencing some successes and accomplishments, keep it going. Perhaps you begin an exercise program and you're able to do 15 minutes at first. You start feeling good when you do your workout. So you increase your time to 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and so on. As you feel better and stronger, you're motivated to do more. In the same way, you can strive to build up your momentum. Break big goals into smaller tasks that will give you a nice feeling of accomplishment when you complete them. Soon you will be taking on bigger objectives and accomplishing them easier and more effectively because you're in the flow in the zone of excellence. So Jonathan, sometimes I notice we're in a flow here in the podcast and we do more than one show and we uh, take longer shows and there's something about it that just is natural and authentic. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what we need to do more as human beings, right? Is to start to get into that flow psychologically or we do something we love, and we do more of it, and we build up that that ability. Mm-hmm. Jonathan, you had something to say. Uh, wait, what? Wait, what was I going to say? <laughs> <laughs> well, Jonathan, it looks like you're in flow right now. Your mind is in a different place. I mean, uh, have you ever been in flow before? Yes, uh, especially like during. I feel like this is a more kind of a candid conversation between the two of us. Yes. So you know, during something like this, it's easy to flow for sure. Of course, right? Because we're really talking about feelings and, and real real things, authenticity. Uh-huh. And it's important that people have that. So, love your students, it is possible for you to become a full potential person and to achieve your ultimate dreams. To do this, you need to be aware of your choices. Embrace the unknown. Maintain your one-point focus. Soon you will be on the way to accomplishing your heart's desires. And one final point, always remember that eternity awaits you. When you know that your time on earth is limited, You will have the motivation and persistence to make every living moment on earth as beautiful and as loving as you possibly can. With a new perspective, you will write a beautiful love song to the earth and to the heavens that ends with a perfect refrain. I give all that I have and all that I am in the power of love. So love university students, this is a great mission for you this week to go out and maintain your one point focus. Focus on the most important thing you want to do today. And as you get into that, use a power of momentum as you start to flow and, and get uh, more accomplished and you feel better about yourself and you lose your self-consciousness, you will be able to achieve your higher potential. Be aware of your choices and embrace the unknown. Take a risk. Talk to the person you want to talk to. Take a risk on a business or career plan or idea or a lifestyle choice. Maybe you want to move to a new place or travel somewhere you never have been before. We're afraid of it's too expensive or you can't do it. But tell yourself that I'm going to be the full potential person. I'm going to achieve my highest level of living right now. So love university students. If you want to be on a future show, if you want to comment on today's show, or if you have a show idea, you can write to us at loveuniversitylove at gmail.com. Visit us at loveuniversitylove. Call us at 310-226-8090. 
You can like us and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Love University Podcast. Follow us on Twitter at Love That Are You Podcast. You can download the show on Podbean, Spotify, SoundCloud, and iTunes. So love your university students. Make this a full potential week and become a full potential person. Until next time, put away your notebooks, your iPads, your phones. This is Dr. Alex Avila. Love University class is now dismissed. Thank you.